Hi, I'm Marceline with Red Carpet Report in Pasadena for NBC Universal's Summer Press Day. Thank you. Yes, it's very spring, right? Yeah, it is. So tell us a little bit about your show. Uh, the show is called Restaurant Kickstart, and it's about uh, taking each episode, we take two restaurant concepts that are similar, uh, that are needing some funding. So they come in, they pitch us on their brand, they, they give us some food that we get to taste and what they feel like their restaurant's going to produce. And then between those two concepts, we decide which one we feel like is more viable. So it's a little bit of competition off the top. Yeah. And then we give them $7,500. They have to build a restaurant in two days in a space that we provide with a kitchen already in it. And they design the restaurant, design the logo, branding through our advice and mentorship. And then uh, they open for two hours. And uh, Joe and myself go eat. At my other investor and along with the public, some of our friends, we bring in experts and we get everybody's opinion on whether or not these guys are worth a crap. And oh my, yeah. so, so what has been the coolest restaurant idea that you've seen so far? Uh, there's these guys with a, a, a kanji concept. The What's kanji? Kanji is a rice porridge. It's eaten by more than half the world every single day. Wow. It's, a, it's an Asian food and it's like a, a soup of rice. Uh, these guys flavor it with all these different flavors and all this stuff. I thought for sure it was going to be, I, I mean, I was, I, I was already ki ready to kick them to the curb and I tasted the food and quite frankly, I mean, it changed my whole opinion on them in five minutes. So I was like, man, if they can change me in five minutes, we can change the world certainly over the next year. So wow. yeah, it's three young guys just cooking their ass off. And now, do most of these, do most of these restaurateurs have a background already in developing their own businesses and so they're coming to you guys for help or is it people who have the idea of wanting to open up a business and then you guys just help them from zero on up? Well, it, it, it's a variety. We've had, uh, we've had home cooks come in and think they've got the greatest idea in the world of the food. We've also had professional chefs that have made a career change and want to do a different direction. We've also had people that have had restaurants before and now they have a new idea. I mean, it's, the dynamic is so different. That's what's great about Joe and I. We've got such a wide range of experience that we can you know, advise them one way or the other. And some people come in wanting to do this concept and we've recognized they're so good at something else, we've convinced them to move to a different direction and they've just shined like that. So it's a, I mean, we've had kids, I mean, I've had these three kids that started crying when we gave them their investment. It's such a cool feeling, you know, to see people with talent and just need a chance, you know. Like I said, if I was, when I started my first restaurant, I had to save my money and pound every nail and scrub every floor and, and paint the wall, do everything myself. If I just had a little bit of chance, I mean, how much easier it would have been. So. Yeah, tell us a little bit then about your background, about your starting up and wanting to get involved in this. Yeah, I, well, I, I started, uh, you know, as a, I started cooking to pay for school in college. Mm -hmm. And I got a double degree in finance and marketing. And when I graduated there, I worked for, I was a chef at three hotels. And I've never been to a professional culinary school. I've taught at a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. And... Um, as I started moving forward, I, you know, I wanted to see how I could affect the restaurant world in different ways. And so uh, we now own four food and wine festivals around the country, and we have a full product line through Sur La Table, and I have five restaurants. And, we have, and so my background is finding people that can do things the right way and giving them a chance. I mean, that's, it's so cool to see people grow. And, and under, you know, some people just have a bad start or they're just not quite smart enough at that second to make the right decision and if you have one person in your life that tells you to go the right way, you know, the world's endless. And so I'm really excited about, you know, getting an opportunity to see these guys grow and girls. Awesome. I, I commend you for what you guys are doing and we wish you the hugest best of luck in, uh, in your success yeah, with the show. The luck I can get. I don't, I don't ever refuse luck. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much, Deb. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, and comment if you liked this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.